Okay, I have hit the record button. Don't forget to hit the record button, Vivek. <laughs> yeah. It is the, recorded. Um, Vivek and I have been doing a series of blabs about specifically seven uh, technology questions that he created seven marketing and sales questions that I have created. Uh, we have created what we uh, were calling an audit so that you are given an opportunity in your small business to uh, take a look at what happened in 2015. We're making it a uh, rather simple process for you uh, by answering these questions. We think they're extremely important questions. We ask them of our businesses, our specific businesses, and we feel very strongly that you should be asking the same questions of your business. The answers are not going to be the same. And therein lies the beauty of small business, that every small business is unique unto itself or should be unique unto itself. And that is the message that you must communicate to the marketplace. Once people understand what it is you do, you and you can communicate it properly to them, they will determine if what it is that you have, your product, your service, it will bring value to them as an individual, bring value to them as a business owner, bring mm -hmm. value to their business in and of itself. The key to business is not necessarily to make a profit. Uh, the key to business is to create a customer, maintain that customer, and that customer will create the profit that you need in your business. It's an interesting segue and tie into the next question uh, that we're going to ask from a marketing and sales perspective. But the point I want to make right now very clearly is that you must make the buying process simple. Mm. It has to be simple. If it's complex, the buyer of your product, of your service, will go elsewhere to find a more simple buy. Now, I can't sit here uh, and pretend that I can give you 10 rules, 10 guidelines to follow uh, to make the process simple. But what I can do is if you share with me the process that is in place for your business, then I can comment whether or not it's a simple process, whether or not it's an efficient process, both for you and your business, because small businesses must pursue anything that makes their business run more efficiently. It's incumbent, it's mandatory, because if you're not, you're going to spend too much time. You're going to waste too much time if you're not striving for the efficiencies necessary. You hear Vivek and I talk about this all the time, specifically from a technology perspective. Technology creates a level playing field for the small business owner to be able to market and sell what it is, whatever it is that they have, what their business is about. Question number one in our audit, what is it that you do? <laughs> uh, but bottom line, you have to make the selling process simple. You have to make, and it ties into making the buying process simple. The buy is the end of the sale. The sale is not complete until something is bought. Does your business 
make it a simple process. What might you have to add to that, Vivek? Um, because I, I, I have seen a few websites where they give you a list of products that they have. You select a few of them, put them in your uh, uh, so-called uh, trolley, <laughs> the internet trolley, and uh, you do one or two things and suddenly all the products just vanish or uh, something else happens. So that many of these companies have not, they have not simplified the buying process. They have made it uh, so complex because uh, I don't know, they, they, they uh, did not realize buying is important for the buyer. <laughs> so yeah, uh, simplifying it is very much required. Uh, then uh, of course, the other aspect is yeah, you 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 put all the things in the um, trolley and then go to the uh, so-called internet checkout. Then they tell you that uh, sorry, we can't uh, ship the product to anywhere outside our uh, borders unless you are within 10, 15 miles of uh, where we are. We can't sell it to you. You should have asked that question in the very beginning. That's another example of how people make things difficult for the buyer to buy. Uh, and it also comes uh, to, and you, you reminded me of a, a long discussion that you and I had uh, about how to make the buying process as simple as we possibly could on our site. Uh, mm. If that's how you sell things, it, it must be simple. And uh, you don't have much time. <laughs> You don't have much time to convince the potential buyer. It's not not just. Uh, uh, I mean, in uh, whether the buyer has the time. Uh, in, in the instance which, uh, in the example that I gave, I I wanted to buy certain things. Went to the site, selected among the hundreds or thousands of things there, put them in the, took all the trouble. And only to be told in the end that we can't sell it to you. What? What? Then why are you making it available? Why? Can't, why, why? Have you gone back I mean, to that, 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 that? That not only added frustration, that also actually means that I would then go out and tell my friends, don't go. I mean, I, I would, in a way, I would kind of start a negative campaign against them making it complicated will not not only uh, repel your likely customers it's more likely to make it uh, have you worse. gone have you gone back to that site again to buy no never how long ago what how long ago was it approximately um, a couple of months and how many times have you bought from a competitive website or e-commerce operation to that one? How many times since then? Yeah, I have quite a few. Uh, Amazon is one example of where they make it so easy for you to buy. As an example, that that's one of the reasons why they are so successful. Uh, that's the primary reason why they are so successful. There are so many purchases made. It's just, uh, it's incredible. Okay. Uh, what's our next question that we're going to be discussing in the next lab? Uh, the next question is going to be, um, are you able to work from anywhere using mobile devices? So that is a technology question. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, that might be our last question for the moment because I have another Somebody else's blab, I have to participate in the, in the next. Although, uh, should we do the last sales question, then you can go and do your last couple questions without me, or would you rather 
have my involvement. That's up to you. It uh, no. Let, let's do it uh, together later okay. on. If, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, we'll see you in a few. Yeah. See you.